my hair looks really weird and I am super sorry about that but what can you do when you don't want to fix it hey guys it's Stacy and today I am going to be doing my January wrap-up I read a total of 11 books in January which is a lot um, I used to read like 15 books a month like I haven't done that since like July but I'm really proud of myself this month and I'm gonna start off with the ebook and the book that I don't want to get down but the book I don't want to get down is um, City of Fallen Angels by Cassandra Clare. I gave this book five stars. Um, it's in that box set and I didn't realize how hard it was to get books out of a box set and I don't feel like taking it down and like shaking it out and then yeah okay so I read that one and then I read an ebook this month with I which I did a review on which was a Lost Legacy Awakening by C.E. Diamond. I also gave it book five stars. It was phenomenal. I loved it so much. I loved both of those books. But so the first book I actually read this month was Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. I gave this book four stars. Um, it's not my favorite thing in the world. Uh, I, it's cute and whatnot, but I didn't really like Rin or anything. But I loved Reagan and I liked Levi and I liked Kath too. At some points, Kath did get on my nerves, but. What can you do? But I gave this book 4 out of 5 stars and I will be reading Carry On and I'm hopefully I'll love that one more than I liked this one. The next book I um, finished this month, well, it's what I completed this month because I had started it but I never finished it and I'm really proud of myself finishing it. And that is Chasing the Prophecy by Brandon Moll. This is the third and final book in the Beyonders trilogy. And this book tore my heart out of my chest, stomped on it, and then kicked it. Like... <sighs> It did not end how I expected to end. Like, I can't believe this is a middle grade series. Like, there's a lot of death in this series. And just the end, stuff happens you don't expect to happen. But I was very satisfied of how this ended. But, except for the, like, I wanted more to the epilogue. But there was something I wanted from the epilogue that I can't say. But, 5 out of 5 stars. This book was phenomenal. I don't know why it took me so long to finish it. I guess it's because I just didn't want it to end because I love the other books so much, but this book was phenomenal. And the next book I read is one that I have talked about a bajillion times on my channel, and that, that is Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. Five out of five stars. Phenomenal space adventure romance ripped my heart out again, and so many tears happened. So many. I cried so much, but... Yeah, this book was great and I highly recommend it. And the next book I read was Ghost Girl by Tonya Hurley. Um, this was a 3 out of 5 stars for me. I didn't expect much from it, but the main character is super annoying. But it did redeem itself at the very end, which I was happy about. And so I will continue on with it. I do have the other two books, but look how pretty it is. I mean, I can't get over how pretty it is. Watch out. So pretty. And the next book I read was Never Fade by Alexandra Bracken. Um, this is the second book in the Darkest Minds trilogy. It's really good. Oh, man. Like, I thought, like, I wasn't going to like it as much as I did. It did take me a little while to get into it because I waited forever to read it. I don't know why I do that. I wait forever to read sequels and third books and then I end up not liking the series anymore. But that didn't happen with this one. Um, it, it did take me several chapter chapters to get into it, but... In the end, four stars. Yeah, I think it was four stars. I gave it four stars because it took me forever to get into it. But yeah, I can't wait to read In the Afterlight and all the novellas. So, like, I love this. And the next three books that I read were the first three in a series. And that is the Michael Vay series. First one being Prisoner of Cell 25, Rise of Elegion. I hope that's how you say that. And Battle of the Empire. Empire. Um... First three books in the Michael Bay series. I this the first one. This was a reread for me. I read this book a really really long time ago, but um, I didn't really remember what happened. I would read it and I'd be like, oh yeah, okay. I kind of remember that. It was kind of like a sense of deja vu. But all these books were four stars for me. Um, they're just very addicting and very quick. I read them. I read these two in a day, the first and second, but it did take me two days to finish this one. I had other stuff to do, so I couldn't finish it in a day. But they were phenomenal, and I cannot wait to read the fourth and fifth book. And the title of the sixth book is being released soon. And so I just, I love this series so much. And 
like it's literally all I can think about right now like I'm still reading other books but it's all I want to think about and the last book I read was a reread and that is Invincible by Sherry Lankini and this is the second book in the Chronicles of Nick I am going to be doing where if I read like three to four physical books I'm going to let myself reread one book and so that will probably I'll probably end up just rereading the whole Chronicles of Nick series before I reread anything else but this is amazing five out of five stars obviously um for some reason like I rated all of these two stars like it's my favorite series but I don't know I joined Goodreads a long time ago and I don't think I understand the, the stars and stuff when I did it but yes I, it was really good and Nick is still as adorable as he was back in the day. So all, those are all of the books that I read in the month of January. I read so much and I'm so proud of myself so I don't know if I'll read that much in the month of February um who knows I've got some big books that I want to read and whatnot but yeah thanks for watching and I hope everyone has a great day and bye